Joe Biden went to the COP26 Global Climate Summit and said the US was going to lead the world in the fight against climate change, that other countries just weren't up to the task, and good old America was gonna save the day. And then he fell asleep. This glaring contradiction between Biden's words and actions has a lot of people asking, what exactly qualifies the US to be a leader on climate? Because while Biden can get on stage and talk about all the supposed commitments he's gonna make, it doesn't change the fact that historically, the US has a terrible track record on climate. The US has emitted more carbon dioxide than any country in human history. Developing nations have repeatedly argued that since wealthy countries got wealthy by destroying the planet, they should have to pay to repair so, is Biden acting on what he described in his own words as the overwhelming obligations of the US on climate? Not really. The central policy of Biden's $500 billion climate package, the one he bragged about on stage at COP26, is now out of the bill. This provision, which would have rewarded utilities for transitioning from fossil fuels to renewable energies, got taken out because one senator representing coal barons and fracking companies from West Virginia objected to the policy policy. Instead of fighting Senator Joe Manchin, the Biden administration immediately caved to this fossil fuel extremist. While the US and EU did make a pledge to cut methane emissions, it's not a binding agreement. The US also has a history of breaking its climate commitments. Take for example the 2005 Kyoto Protocol, which the US signed but never ratified and then later withdrew from. Or how about the time a bunch of rich countries pledged six times less money for climate finance to developing nations than the UN recommended? only to pay just one-fifth of those already insufficient pledges. But the larger point here is that our leaders aren't taking this seriously. They all know how serious climate change is. The UN Secretary General literally told the COP meeting that we're digging our own graves. It's not like they lack authority either. These are the most powerful people in the world. And money definitely isn't the issue. The US is on track to spend over $8 trillion on the military over the next 10 years, which makes Biden's landmark climate package look like pocket change. The reality is that even the smallest investments in the climate would mean infringing on corporate America's so-called right to destroy the planet to make a quick buck, a right our politicians are too afraid to infringe on. But don't lose hope. Our leader's indifference to the impending climate crisis has lit a fire in the hearts of concerned people around the world. In 2019, I went to the climate strike in New York City, where it's estimated that up to a quarter of a million people marched to send a message that climate should be our top priority. We have the numbers, we've won all the arguments, now we just need to up the ante. Find out who these politicians are, go to their offices, name them, shame them, make sure they don't get a moment of peace until our demands are met.